What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2021 Series 8 video. Now, I tried to record this yesterday, but for some reason my computer's been acting really weird and OBS and Audacity crash at the same time, just randomly, so I tried updating my computer to fix it, so hopefully today that won't happen, maybe I can get through a video without an error, but yeah. We're going to be using a Zygarde team that got sent to me on Twitter uh, by Dragoner Jordan. It's based off of the Zygarde team that I made in that video the other day. So it should be a good time. Uh, I'll leave the rental code in the description down below. But yeah, let's get into it. If you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications because I bring you daily Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC content. And answer my comment question of the day. What is your favorite legendary that has multiple forms? And what are those multiple forms? Like, I don't know, do you like Kyurem White in particular? And my computer just let me know that I have a class soon. Thank you. <laughs> uh, but yeah. I mean, I'm a big fan of Zygarde. I feel like Zygarde is just objectively one of the coolest Pokemon ever. I don't know. Like, I, I get that it's a subjective opinion, but I don't know. Maybe maybe Zygarde being cool is objective, you know? Anyways, yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. This might be a bit of a shorter video because I do have an exam later on today that I'd like to study for, and I may need to head over to the lab. Okay, so... Ooh, Xerneas... Hmm. How do I deal with Xerneas on this team? It looks like Kartana is my best friend. Uh, but I have to be really, really careful with that Mian Xiao. Uh, what I could go for here is... Um, hmm. They might have Quick Guard on the Mian Xiao. I feel like that's what it has. I feel like that's what it has. You, if it does have it, I don't even know if it can like learn that. I think what I'll do is I'll lead off Grimmsnarl and Kartana. In the back... I feel pretty comfortable with Tapu Fini, and I want to say Incineroar. I want to say Incineroar, just because like the fake out seems really nice and stuff. But maybe the Zygarde would be useful. Maybe I'm an idiot for bringing it to this matchup, but I'm gonna do it anyways. I feel like plus one special def <laughs> special defense Zygarde complete might be able to take a hit from the Xerneas, uh, but. I don't know. I feel like this team doesn't have a way to deal with Xerneas very well. You you really don't see it too much, honestly. But uh, hopefully I'll be able to deal with it. I recently purchased um, a new flavor of coffee. And I have to say, it's by far one of the worst coffees I've ever had. Uh, it's like honey vanilla. And I just can't get over the taste. Like, it's it tastes like soap, dude. But I already bought it. I'm going to eat the whole pack. <laughs> or I'm going to drink the whole pack and just deal with it um in this situation it looks like i should be i should be kind of concerned actually um what i could do is switch in tapu finny i know grim snarl can take a hit i think what i'll do is i'll just try to get rid of um mian xiao i'd like to remove the mian xiao because it makes Kartan a bit easier and i'll go into zygarde or tapu finny here uh to lower damage from dragon moves because I'm likely going to get faked out on either the Grimmsnarl or the, um, or the Kartana. If they, you know, don't want to predict a Dynamax. As they end up Dynamaxing right away, which is actually really nice for me. Uh, I really didn't feel like dealing with Z <laughs> Dynamax Xerneas. Xerneas is a lot easier to deal with once the Dynamax isn't present. Because it's so bulky when it Dynamaxes. Alright, and whatever the Dragapult went for, I think I feel pretty comfortable with it. It might even be a special Dragapult, judging by the fact they Dynamax so early. But I have two Fairy types in the field, so, you know, it's whatever. Let's see what I can take. Max Airstream. Okay, so it is physical. As that's like the only type of move they get there. Um, I don't think they would Wide Guard here, because Dazzling Gleam is so... It's so niche in the format, you really don't see it. And yeah, there's the Life Orb. I should be able to just go for um, a Reflect here. And Dazzling Gleam pretty freely. I don't really mind the speed boosts. Um, I don't really see a point of Dynamaxing either, really. It looks like Zygarde might be my best friend in the end of this. As they max Phantasm. Let's see if they go for a Poison Jab, too. I'd like to assume that's what their move is on the um, on the Mian Xiao. They probably fit that in somewhere. High jump kick. Okay, that's fine. I can get in my Zygarde pretty safely.
Dazzle and Gleam up. And I don't really mind taking a Dragon move. I also get some Leftovers recovery, which is really nice. My play may be just to um, get in here and go for a Breaking Swipe. Or maybe I Dynamax this thing. I feel like Kartana can deal with Xerneas without Dynamaxing. Get a nice little special defense boost there. And like I said, they're likely physical. Um, I'm, I kind of want to coil. I kind of really want to coil, to be honest. I think I'm just going to Dynamax and go for the special defense boost. So we'll max Quake here. Uh, and also go for a Protect on the Tapu Fini. Breaking Swipe wouldn't really be too strong, considering they would be able to block a lot of the damage with the... Uh, Misty Terrain being up, as they do have Regieleki, which I'm cool with. I'm going to get a decent amount of damage off here. Uh, they can lower my defense, but Zygar doesn't really care too much, especially when it's Dynamaxed. It's so absurdly bulky, that's going to be really difficult for them to knock out. And on top of that, I feel like if they brought the Xerneas, which I'm surprised they didn't. I'm really surprised they didn't. Um, and the reason I'm saying that so early is because I feel like they would have sent it in now. Of all times, it would have been now. Get a Protect off. As they go for the Max Phantasm. Into the Tapu Fini. I'm going to eat it up. Get a nice little special defense boost too. Uh, what I might need to do here, unfortunately, is switch in my Kartana and then just switch it right back out for Tapu Fini. I don't want to take an Electroweb. Yeah, I should be able to Quake into this Dragapult this next turn. Get some recovery there. Yeah, Electroweb does not seem like something I want to take. Uh, and the likelihood of them doubling into me is really, really low. Go for another Max Quake into you. Switch in the Kartana here. If they brought Landorus, I'm going to be really disappointed. They had Landorus, right? Phantom Force. Ooh, good play. Okay. There's the Volt Switch. Into who, though? I also took a significant chunk of damage on that, uh, on that Kartana. At the very least, I get a I get another Max Quake off. Ooh, there's a Mian Xiao. Okay. How many turns are left of Psychic Terrain? Or not Psychic Terrain, Misty Terrain. Because I don't want to bring in Tapu Fini too early. There's one turn left of Misty Terrain. Do I need Tapu Fini? Um, maybe. I think what I can do here is... I'll fix my little defense problem by going for a max steel spike on the Zygarde, or with Zygarde under Dragapult. Because I don't think I need the special defense. Uh, you know what? I can just get rid of this thing. Yeah. Uh, I'd rather sack Tapu Fini, to be honest. Because now that I'm thinking about it, like Tapu Fini isn't terribly useful when I've taken so little damage. There's the fake out. Let's see if I can need a Phantom Force. Nope. Yeah, I was thinking, like, does it really matter if I have the terrain up? Like, does it truly matter if I'm going to get a KO on the Dragapult here? Not really. I could have Steel Spiked as well. Um, but in case they did have the Xerneas, I preferred what I just did. I haven't gotten any. I haven't gotten any attack drops either, so I think I'm in a decent position. I have to be relatively careful around that Mian Xiao though, because a high jump kick will hurt. And there's the Regieleki. I'm assuming they're just gonna Volt Switch. Uh, there's absolutely no reason not to go for Thousand Arrows, because it should pick up a double KO. 
What's their last Pokemon, though? If it's Xerneas, I've been playing like an idiot. I don't know. I feel like they would have sent it out as the thing. I'm going to Thousand Arrows here. Um, and I'm just going to go for the Smart Strike on the Mian Shao to hopefully get a plus one. I doubt it'll work out. I'm hoping that it's just like... Um, doesn't affect Zygarde. Yeah, they connect. I'm hoping that it's just like... Landorus, because then I definitely win. Because I just coil on it. I jump kick on a Kartana. That's what I figured. If it's Xerneas, I, I am playing like an idiot. They might be making like a really, really good bluff. As I don't knock out the Regio like you. That's actually really surprising. Come on, Lando, Lando, Lando. <laughs> I'd be so surprised now if it wasn't Xerneas. Just with how I... Yeah, there it is. Okay. Um, I might be able to pull off a win here. I am at plus three special defense. I, I might get lucky. I have to connect two Iron Tails pretty much. I should have taken that opportunity to coil up. Because they can Geomancy, right? I don't know. I think two Iron Tails might do it. I have to connect it as the issue. Ah, uh, man, I'm an idiot. There's the Reflect. Okay, never mind. I can't win. Unless I crit. There's the Geomancy. Let me see if I can take a Moonblast. That'd be insane. All right. Come on, Zygarde. We connect one. It is not doing nearly enough. Okay, Zygarde, you just got to crit this one. <laughs> you just got to crit this one and we're good, right? Just crit one Iron Tail. Hopefully you can eat this hit. Dazzling Gleam, okay. Well, I can eat that. Uh, matter of fact, I should get another opportunity to go for an Iron Tail since I'm going to end up in complete form here. I might be able to bring it back if I get just one good crit. <laughs> this is so scary, dude. Alright, since the presence of many, I can eat another one now. Alright. You got the Zygarde? You, you got it? Can you can you crit? Or who knows? Maybe I'll just tank two somehow. What if they don't have Moonblast? That'd be insane. I feel like they should have been going for it already. No, Dazzling Gleam. Okay. Come on, Zygarde. Come on. Come on. Oh, we missed. Dang it. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Could have managed to pull it off there, yeah. I mean, I definitely should have played a little bit more carefully for Xerneas. Um, I was somewhat concerned about Xerneas, and that's kind of why I was trying to hold on to Kartana. And that's why I threw away the Tapu Fini, but... Uh, yeah, unfortunately, as they protect here, interestingly enough. What was the point of that? No, no, no really, what was the point of that? <laughs> here, here's how I win. They're going to get an absolute minimum roll. Like, literally the lowest possible roll, and we're going to live. Come on, baby. No, okay. <laughs> I mean, yeah, uh, my only out there is really playing for crits, but I think I played pretty poorly in the grand scheme of things. We're going to try to do a bit better. I'm upset, dude. The last video I recorded, like, I was midway through the video. I won all three matches, and then at, like, the end of the last match, everything just crashed. So that Zygarde video was... That Zygarde video was actually pretty lit, dude. But no. No. Couldn't get it. Couldn't get it because my computer crashed. Alright. As we're facing Orange... Um, interesting. Calyrex Ice on Sun. So it's Sun Room with Calyrex Ice. I haven't seen that yet, and that's terrifying. Honestly, not too scared of it. I should be able to just bring this squad and be perfectly fine. 
Um, I'm kind of tempted to bring Kartana, but I think, I think I get just a little bit more out of Grimmsnarl on this matchup with screens and stuff, so we'll do that. Yeah, if I coil enough times, Zygarde really isn't an issue. That's the funny thing. If I coil enough, Zygarde is literally, like, the least of my concerns. Dynamaxed, uh, complete Zygarde is... Why, don't, why did I say, like, Zygarde? Uh, Calyrex. I think I think I misspoke the last couple of times. If I if I coil up enough times, Calyrex is the least of my concerns. Like Dynamax Zygarde, when it's in complete form, is absolutely insane how bulky it is. I do have to be really careful with like Sleep Powder Venusaur and a possible G Max Vine Lash, but beyond that, um, I think we have a good matchup here. I think we have a good matchup, especially with Incineroar being able to pivot in and out. It's actually really funny. Incineroar literally can sit on like five out of six of these Pokemon. Unless they have, like, Scorching Sands on the Charizard, in which case that would actually be an issue. Okay. As they lead off with Charizard Torkoal, um, I don't know if I'm really all that concerned, to be honest. I have to be really careful, because Charizard can do a lot of damage to me. It is very possible for Charizard to, you know, max Airstream and absolutely ruin my day, but... Um, I could just... I think they would have to Dynamax here to get anything out of Charizard. I could just max Quake into the... Yeah, I could just max Quake into the Torkoal and probably Heal Pulse. I forget, how fast is my Finny? It's faster than my Zygarde, right? I don't have, like, the paste for this team. I just have, like, this. So 116, 150. So Tapu Finny is faster. I kind of want to just Dynamax immediately and max Quake this thing. And... I'll actually get in Grim Snarl here. Because I think they would Dynamax the Charizard to max Airstream. And I can set up um, a light screen. And then there's no way the Charizard like knocks me out short of a crit. And we already had the... <laughs> we already didn't get crits when we needed it this video. Uh, I don't think this game hates me enough to give my opponent a crit when they need it now. Grimmsnarl the Feisty, okay. As we do call the Dynamax correctly... Luckily, they can't yawn me or anything, so Zygarde's sitting pretty, pretty, I guess. <laughs> I was going to say he's sitting pretty, but I was going to say he's sitting very pretty. But instead of saying very, I said pretty, so he's sitting pretty, pretty, if that makes sense, you know? So, uh, here I'll be able to just kind of wall out the Charizard for a bit, since I'm Dynamaxing myself. And I do already have that special defense boost. Alright, Dynamaxed up. Um, yeah, at plus one special defense, they really shouldn't be able to do too much. There's the max airstream into my Grim Snarl. Okay, that's actually not great. Uh, but I should be able to survive this turn as long as they didn't Heat Wave. I thought they would target down the Zygarde. I really did. There's the max Quake. Get a nice little special defense boost. Do a good chunk of damage to this thing. Oh, wait. No, they can't Burning Jealousy me. That wouldn't hurt me. Okay, I was concerned for a minute. I'm like, did I just make the biggest oops of my life? Eruption. Can you take it? <sighs> Grimmsnarl can't take it. That sucks. Hmm. Take some solar power damage. I should be able to get in Incineroar here. But it doesn't seem worth it. I think I'll just get in Tapu Fini and Protect. Um, the reason I'm gonna just protect here is because I want to keep Incineroar to cycle in and out versus the Zygarde. And is there a reason not to Quake into the Torkoal right now? They don't have any Quake immunities, or any resists for that, <laughs> for that matter. Uh, so I'll Quake here again, uh, and I'll go for the Protect. Get a nice little special defense boost on my Tapu Fini as well. Let's see if they protect the Torkoal. They do not. They go for the G-Max Wildfire. 
Onto the Finny, it shouldn't really do much. But I'm going to take some residual damage, which will be pretty annoying in the end game. Get another special defense boost on the Zygarde. And uh, Charizard's Dynamax is running out in the next turn, so... <clears> hmm. <throat> what I could do, if they do have the, um... If they do have the Calyrex Ice, is I could go for a Max Steel Spike into the Calyrex Ice this turn, and switch in my Incineroar. And I'll definitely be able to eat a hit from it. It's just not going to be comfortable, is the thing. I also resist Heat Wave with all of my Pokemon on, at this point. So uh, if Charizard, you know, wants to stay in and Heat Wave, it won't do too much. They're thinking about it. They're like, what do I bring in here? So they bring in the Mimikyu. Um, I'm actually fine with that. Because this feels like a free max Steel Spike turn. And I'll actually get in the Incineroar and hope I can actually eat a hit. Or maybe I don't. Maybe I just stay in. Hmm. If I get an Incineroar and they go for a max Airstream, that's going to be really bad. Especially since I'm Shooka. Uh, I might have to just keep Infinity here, unfortunately. I'll go for Scald for damage on the Charizard. They're probably going to Trick Room up. Finny eats the hit. It's really nice. And this Steel Spike isn't going to KO the Mimikyu, but getting a nice little defense boost is going to be really good. And, I mean, like, obviously it's not going to KO because of the um, Disguise, but it's, it's, like, not meant to be putting out damage. It's just meant to prepare myself for the incoming Glacier, or whatever it is, the uh, Calyrex. And, funny enough, I might be able to start going for Coils. I think my play is to Coil now. Yeah, because I can coil and get in the Incineroar. And that'll let me eat whatever I want from the Mimikyu. Charizard isn't very threatening at all, either. How many turns are left of Wildfire? Two turns. I should be fine. Uh, we'll coil up here. And I'll get in the Incineroar. As they may just heat wave. It'd be really nice if they just try to get in the uh, Calyrex here. Because they get a free minus one then. Alright. Go for the Shadow Sneak. It's not going to do anything, really. Coil up. So now I'm at plus two defense, plus one attack. It's really good, really good. I'm assuming for the Trick Room, they have to have brought the, uh... <laughs> they have to have brought the Calyrex. That's just a given, right? I'll coil up a second time and just hard switch into Finny. Or I could Snarl, even. I think I'd rather do that. I'll coil and I'll snarl and that should let me eat whatever. Actually, no, I should just fake out. Yeah, fake out that and get a second coil off. Nice. Coil once more. Nice little plus three defense. So they go for the taunt. Good play, good play. Um, I don't really care, though. I don't really care. Harsh Sunlight Faded, which is great. What I can do now is... Sense the presence of many, for one. 
<laughs> like I'm down to half, uh, to half health. I should be able to sense the presence of many any second now. And we get nice and big. Essentially a Dynamax without a Dynamax. And uh, I'm pretty comfortable I can eat whatever I need to now. The flames are gone. Everything's all good. Uh, my Thousand Arrows should be doing a ton of damage now. And I can actually go for a parting shot on the Charizard to be safe. In case they want to get in the Calyrex right now. Nope. Alright. Let's see if I'll be able to get in the, um... The tap of to heal myself up. Probably not. Pro I probably won't be able to heal myself up, but it'll still be helpful <laughs> to be able to uh, cycle in the Intimidate and have Fake Out on the Calyrex. That's going to be really useful. Thousand Arrows. How much is this doing to mimic you? That's eh, solid amount. It'll get. It'll go down next turn. Critical hit. That wasn't the Charizard, though. That didn't matter. As they go for the Will-O-Wisp and I block it, awesome, awesome. Everything's going great. Now, I could go for an Iron Tail, but that's just super, super unsafe. All right. So, I'm at plus three defense. Zygarde complete, right? I should be able to Thousand Arrows here and get in my Incineroar. And I think I can eat a hit. They only have one turn of Trick Room too, so... Yeah, I think I'm just going to get in the Incineroar, and that should be fine. I mean, Incineroar, as long... If they go for a high horsepower, I'm going to eat it because I'm Shookaberry. So I should be good. Shookaberry Incineroar is so nice for beating Calyrex. Get a nice little Intimidate off. At this point, the Ice move is pretty much a neutral hit. So they go for the Shadow Sneak. Their weakness policy. Never mind, I am in big trouble and I hate what just happened. <laughs> I might have just gotten nae on. I may have just experienced the greatest nae of all time. Can I somehow eat? Uh, uh I'm so disappointed with that. That makes me really upset. I am very annoyed. I am very annoyed. And now they're at <laughs> plus three. Or plus uh, two. So, um, how do I deal with this? I would assume they would just Trick Room on me. And they could play rough into... Or no, they shouldn't have play rough, right? They have Shadow Sneak. They showed Shadow Sneak, Trick Room, Will-O-Wisp, and Taunt. So they can't knock out my Incineroar. And they can't knock out the type of Finny. I think what I'll do is I'll Heal Pulse onto my Incineroar, assuming they go for a high horsepower. And I should be able to knock out the Mimikyu with a Flare Blitz. But, man, Glacial Lance just does so much. I think I just lost. Dang it. I don't want to have to post this many L's online, dude. I'm taking so many L's. <laughs> flare Blitz. That was likely a Trick Room. I don't even think I can eat that now. Glacial Lance. It's going to be close. Can I eat it? I would have to crit a Flare Blitz, pretty much. Okay, Incineroar. It's all you, man. It's all you. You have to crit a Flare Blitz. Dang. <sighs> Weakness Policy Shadow Sneak. That's really annoying. Alright. Well, this is my only way to win. Crit. Yeah, no, not even close. Okay, well, unfortunately, I don't really have time to play more battles today because I have to head to the lab, but... <laughs> I mean, I don't mind uploading two wells as long as you guys don't mind it. It's not like this is entirely about me winning. It's more about me just showcasing teams. Um, yeah, I mean, I just played pretty bad today, I think. Oh, well. 
we all have stuff to learn today. So unfortunately, two L's for today's video. Uh, hopefully next time we can bring it back and do uh, do a bit more work. But yeah, with that, I'm going to call it, guys. Have a nice night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And wow, OBS did not crash on me this time, so that's great. <laughs> have a nice night. Bye.